from the beautiful islands of the Caribbean and all around the world. Now, Super Boost Your Day with Pastor Happy. It says, anything that is not done with faith is what? Sin. Let's go again, because when we say something, we want to back it up with the Word of God. Did you see that on the screen? And he that doubted is what? Damn. You know, you know people use that as a curse word, <laughs> but, but the Bible says you're damn if you're a doubter. You know, how many doubters we have in church? Huh? Although it's talking about eating, he said, because he that eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is what? Sin. So when you were doubting, as far as God is concerned, you were sinning. For example, we're getting ready to go on the building project, and if we begin to have doubt in our heart, we are sinning. Even though we're praying people, we're people of holiness, we, we're not involved in fornication or adultery or all this kind of stuff, but the fact that you were doubting, you have no faith, the Bible says you were sinning. So you, your faith builds you up. Your faith builds you up. I don't care what you're going through or where you are. Have faith in God. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you run out of money. Amen. It doesn't matter if you run out of resources. God is your source. Amen. He is your helper. The psalmist said, I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from Pastor Happy, right? No. It cometh from your uncle. No. How about that auntie in America? No. Your help cometh from no. the Lord. So that's your faith. Amen, somebody. Let's move on to the next one. How to build up yourselves. Number three, praying in the Holy Ghost. You build up yourself by praying in the Holy Ghost. So every now and then, you can find it there, uh, Jude chapter 1 verse 20, praying in the Holy Ghost. So when you wake up in the morning, the Bible says, I will pray with understanding and I will also pray in tongues in the Spirit. Amen, somebody. I will sing with, with understanding and I will also sing in the Spirit. Amen, somebody. That's how you build up yourself. Up. So you wake up in the morning, you start praying, you start worshiping God. You don't know what you're saying. And you are speaking mysteries in the atmosphere and you're building up your spirit, man. You get in your vehicle, you are praying in the spirit. You wake up, you are praying in the spirit. As a matter of fact, time will not permit me to touch more on that. But do you know what? Even before you start praying with understanding, according to Corinthians, you're supposed to be praying in the spirit first. And then the spirit now tells you what to pray for in the natural. You know why many of us prayers don't get answered? Because we are praying what we want to pray, but not what the Holy Spirit wants us to pray. So every now and then, you need to find out what does the Holy Spirit want you to pray. The Bible said the Spirit helps us to what makes the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us. We are trying to make intercession for the Holy Spirit. No wonder you find that you pray, pray, pray. Nothing is happening because you need to check with the Holy Spirit first. The Holy Spirit knows the things that God has for you. The Holy Spirit communicated to you. And then you pray in the Bible saying, this is the confidence we have. That when we pray according to His will, He hears us. So the Holy Spirit must give you that information first. That's why when you wake up in the morning, you should check with the Holy Spirit. Who should you pray for today? Who are the persons you're supposed to pray for for today? Sometimes the Holy Spirit will not even have you pray for yourself, but He will have you intercede for other people. And, and later on, that person called you and said, Girl, you know what happened to me today? You say, I was just praying for you for the same thing. Because you tap into the Spirit. The Holy Spirit reveals stuff to you and you start praying. Amen. Somebody praying in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let, let's read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. Go in there, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. Can, can, can we look at that scripture? Really powerful. It says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. Some people use that. It says, Take a little wine for your stomach's sake. And the question I ask you, do you have a stomach's sake? <laughs> and, and he said that to Timothy. It's your name, Timothy. Because back then, they didn't have much medication like we have now. You know, you, you know they, use, they use wine and oil to treat people back then. 
So in other words, that was medication that he was prescribing. And you now, we have so many medication in hills and valley and get things and all that. You're still looking for wine. <laughs> so he said, don't be filled with wine where in his excess. Say, well, somebody said, well, I'm just drinking. I'm not doing the excess part. But you know, from drinking a little bit before you know it, you start drinking much. Before you know it, you become a drunkard. Yeah, next time we tell you, we see you in church, we're thinking it's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> but it's another spirit. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, and you can almost tell because there's some people in church, the amen never add up to what you're preaching or what you're saying. <laughs> and you watch it, you know, the amen is always off. <laughs> Well, I know that's not in this church. Maybe some other church down the road. Uh, uh, let's just go back here. So it says, but but what? But be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Spirit. Now, when you're filled with the Spirit, this is what begins to happen. As we're filled with the Spirit, it says, speaking to yourselves. Ah, say I have to say I need to talk to myself. You know, it's very important that you talk to yourself, you know, and you talk about yourself because everybody in Grenada is talking about you anyway, so you might as well start talking about yourself and talk to yourself. The Bible says, and the psalmist said, what did he say? He said, he said to himself, he said, hope thou in God. Every now and then you have to bring hope to yourself because nobody might do it for you. You bring hope to yourself. He says, speaking to yourselves in what? In Psalms, every now and then you need this. Is how you build up yourself, you build up yourselves in Psalms, in songs, but you also need to check the Psalms and build up yourself and tell yourself what does the Psalm say? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want it. You speak that to yourself even when you are expressing lack in your life. Thank you for watching Super Booster Day with Pastor Happy. For more information about Pastor Happy and Thy Kingdom Come Deliverance Sanctuary, please visit us online at www.kingdomdeliverance.org and on Facebook. Go to www.facebook.com forward slash Pastor Happy. While in the beautiful Caribbean Spice Island, Grenada, we'd love to have you at one of our super services at any one of our locations. It's more than a church. It's life transformation.